Let's go. Time to grind. Get inside your mind. Yeah, we working overtime. That's the only way to climb. We gon' make it in our prime. Signing on the dotted line. Cashing checks left and right. That's the way I'm living life. Uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight. Chip away, I gotta fight. Ain't nobody else in sight. Man, I think I see the light. Yeah, that shit is so bright. Follow me, I got the guide. See you on the other side, son. Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do I'm ready to go into battle I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. Oh, I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. So get out my way, I dare to stay Hello everybody and welcome to the last home game of the season. Good morning, good morning it's Chungus and everyone who's listening at home. Good morning Beef, how are you doing? All good mate. Are you All excited good. for today? I'm excited and a little bit sad that we're, I'm very sad. we're at the end of the season I for know. us. <laughs> It's, we've seemed to have all the home games, and then we've got the rest of the away games. I reckon we should uh, go and maybe do some of the away games. Try away day commentary. Teams, yeah. that, could, that could be a good idea. <laughs> Think so, uh, uh, just watching the Aces warm up to my left, and um, I've got to say they're looking pretty on it today, Chungus. They look um, they look ready, don't they? Um, a good side, to be fair. Um, yeah, strong side. We saw the clash. Um, the other week with uh, the Div One team, yeah, yeah, a couple of those players dropped yeah. down into the into the yeah. Div Two team to to help out a bit. And I also watched the one of them against um, Blackhawks in yeah. this division. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was surprised actually. Uh, the Blackhawks uh, sort of took the lead in that game, and um, we we think of the Aces as, as you know being a a, r a real strong yeah um, contender. And let's see see how they come back from that today. Yeah, let's see what happens today. Right, we're a minute away, or a minute and a half away. Let's, uh, let's read some teams, shall we? So, for the Reading Rockets, we've got number 21, Connell O'Donovan. Number 29, Chloe Fivash. Number 31, Craig Jewett. Number 37, Drew Long. Number 42, PJ O'Donovan. Number 48, Todd Travers. Number 50, my favourite, Zach Geary. All led <laughs> by head coach Tom Elliott-Smith and his two assistants, the Barker brothers, Liam and Reese. Okay, and um, from the Aces side, we've got George Winsboro, number 12, uh, Josh Prickett, number 18, Lana Brand, 19, Charlie Adams, 20, Sean Chikumba, 25, and seeing as you had a favourite, my personal favourite, on the Aces, Sam Appleton, 27. Can we can we have favourites on the opposing uh, team? Is that, is that, is that, <laughs> oh, I don't know. We play with him on EW. <laughs> so. Cool as a I'll, cucumber. I'll, I'll let you get Sam away with Appleton. that one then. Who do we who are we thinking some some key players today? I, I know Alana for Aces was fantastic to be fair for for the Div One team. So um, uh, I think like you know, watching the the Rockets, uh, obviously I get the privilege to see them in their training. Yeah, and I think they're looking good at the moment. So if they can play like they train, I think hey. they're going to absolutely yeah. come out and roar. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I could. I think it helps that they get to play against the Div the Div One Rockets as well, don't they? It gives Absolutely, them some practice yeah. against some some better opponents, doesn't it? So. Absolutely. And as they line up, we've got Dave Kingston on the um, refing there. Um, 
A nice loud shout there from the Rockets. We love to hear that. Nice roar. And let's see who the starting five are for the Rockets. Um, Aces have got less choice, having only six players here today. Yeah, that that could be a, could be important. That at, um, towards the end of the game. Yeah, just it's, it's. I mean, they have got high percentage shots, as you saw in their warm up yeah. for the Aces. But it does give the Rockets the ability to switch in and out if someone's maybe not not having such a good show on the day. Just like to apologise for the camera's currently frozen at the minute, so you can't actually see anything we can see on the, the court. So we're uh, we're just trying to sort that out at the minute. Head but uh, luckily, we're commentating, so we can uh, <laughs> like a little radio station going on. Okay, so who's in for the tip? We've got Lana versus O'Donovan, and it's O'Donovan of the Connell, the Connell kind. <laughs> And uh, as it all goes quiet, ready for the first touch of the game. You might not be able to see it, but we can. We're entertained. <laughs> <laughs> as the table just gets sorted, the ball goes up and Connell to the tip. T Todd brings up the ball. He's at the top of the key. Uh, it goes round Sam. He's, he almost had the better of Sam Atherton there. And Zach trying to set a nice pick. This is a good, strong start, start from the Rockets. PJ, long pass over to Craig. And to the big and we've hands got some of Connell now. O'Donovan for two. Good Brilliant. start. And this is what we've seen all season. Good defense. That, that wall. Yeah, yeah lovely. Quickly broken down by Chikumba. And he puts... Oh, Ooh, he he just got away. PJ, I think, is holding his head. He is there. Um, so that was a nasty a fall out of the there. chair there. Um, and I think they'll stop the play there just for a minute whilst, whilst they, they uh, will sort that out. Head coach and medic Tom Elliott-Smith comes onto the court. PJ's getting up. Looks like he's all right. It was a nasty fall, that. So just thinking about the, the uh, how quickly the defence got sort of broken down because they were strong. Yeah. But they then with some of the speed there from Sean and uh, yeah. a little pick round on the on the side or a little crossover, a switch, and um, and he was in. So they've got to be careful of that, Rockets. Yeah. Keep their eyes on. And The line breaks quite quickly, doesn't it, as soon as they You can see Lana set up in. here ready for a drive, but you also got on the other side Charlie Adams. I think there's going to be a bit of, bit of an attack going on here. They both head towards Cross at the top of the key. Oh, and Lana's she is in, in. Straight in. That tactic worked a dream. Unfortunately, it was she couldn't really it. good by the finish, wasn't it? Yeah, just couldn't quite finish it off. The, uh, excellent play. See, that's what you get from a practiced inbound. Yeah. We could see what they were trying to do, but the uh, Rockets defense. And here we go again. Same, same tactic again. The drive with the crossover at the top Zach of the key. Zach deals with it a bit better this Sam time. Sam, cool as a cucumber, lets it fly. Wow. And he puts it away. Number 27. We were expecting that, weren't we? We were expecting that. And that takes it to two apiece. Todd Travers, top of the key, out to PJ. PJ, similar on this outside shot. He's let it fly and he's oh, thumped wow. it. It was so perfect, the net didn't even move. That's my man PJ. And trying to keep Lana out of that key is, is sort of um, being a bit of a trouble for R Rockets early on. She has found herself in the key a couple of times already and she's got that height advantage against half of the team. And Todd at the top of the key needs to turn his chair. He was under a lot of pressure from Sam. That was good pressure. PJ's Connell open looks the other like side he's going for the long one and comes off the top of the backboard. And they've got a man out of advantage. And Sam's going to crash the key now. He's open. He gets the ball and a finger roll to finish. Nice little finish. Textbook stuff. Sam again. Lovely job from um, from Aces. Just a team play there was lovely. 
Started with a man out. And Todd now looking for Zach. Can't quite make it over. Going for Connell instead. Connell on the on the near side to me. Back to the top and over to PJ. Lovely ball rotation. Nice turn there. He finds himself open for the dunking. Oh, that was Shot a lovely doesn't finish. doesn't count, unfortunately. Really nice there. So that was really positive play there for the Rockets. That was, it was. I know it was didn't count. 11 and 9 ball though, weren't they, to, to try and sort something out. It was excellent stuff. If they can do that, then they've got a, a, a good game on them. Connell finds himself in the key, but the pass PJ, is too low. Yeah, just... That just is not quite the, the O'Donovan link up. Lana brings the ball down, looking for Sam. Sam on the drive again on his own. And... Another point for Sam. It was a bit too easy, that, I think, to get in there, wasn't it? It all starts with the setup. Yeah. He's so calm and he set it up, rolls in, and he's completely free. And this looks like it sounds to be a good, tight game here. The Aces' defence is looking pretty, pretty solid at the minute. They're struggling to get in, look. And Zach's completely tied up there. Uh, PJ going for go the for baseline. It. And Connell's there to catch it. Very good job from Connell. Unfortunately, can't quite get the, the, the hook to finish it off and convert to the two points. So that leaves us at six to four in favour of aces. Rockets not with the not with the tight defence that we've we've been looking at. There you go, you've got the Lana in oh. the key with a height advantage yet again. Luckily, PJ put pressure on. That was really good work from PJ because if he hadn't have done that, that would have been an not easy quite good enough there from PJ to, to find. You see PJ's Todd. hands there? Hungry hands, knocked out of Sam's, Sam's grasp. Excellent work. Keep hustling, PJ. This is good. And PJ's going to go and pressure the ball again. And I think it's enough to put that shot off. Um. I think struggling for outlets there from uh, Mr. Jewett. The team just weren't yeah. in space Ended when he needed them. Yeah, for travel there, didn't he? Lana in the key again. Connell can't, can't quite get his hands on that one there. Josh on the far side, puts it in, trying to find the height of Lana. But Chikumba comes away with the ball. Gonna pull Sean up here. for two, and nothing but net. A nice long two there from Chikumba. Another player that played against the Div 1 Rockets the other week. That's eight points to four. Let's see if the Rockets can good uh, pass over up to the PJ. energy. Very good work from PJ. Dunks it into his, his brother. Oh, that was dump, not dunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is and it going to be? Number 20, Charlie Adams makes PJ. it look easy. PJ's getting knocked about here. I think they've called for a timeout. They have indeed. Score currently 10 to 4 with 4 minutes and 40 seconds left on the, sh uh, on the clock. What are your thoughts so far? I'm wondering um, whether the faster game suits the Aces. They seem yeah. to be coming away liking the transition quickly. And I'm wondering if maybe um, the the Rockets might want to slow it down yeah. and take their yeah. pace a bit. Might be wrong because um, we know that, as I said, I've seen them in training really going end to end and making it work. But maybe when they get up to offense, a little bit of slowing it down and... Um, the, the Aces d defense looks looks very good at the minute. It, it it's yeah. quite difficult for them to be getting in, aren't right? they? Isn't but it? but the picks are coming and, and yeah. they are getting through. Um, uh, they've had shots. Like you say, they're just having to take their time with that, aren't yeah. they? They're not not quite playing that fast. But, um, so I wonder if they can get them early enough to slow down the Aces' speed yeah. in offense. You know, transition. Yeah. If they can slow that down. I mean, they are quick, aren't they? They. The, the Rockets' defense sets yeah, up, and then it's it's 
It's gone again, isn't it? Just need to make sure they're playing as a solid team because they've got all the individual uh, players there that can make a difference. Yep. Let's see if the Rockets can pull it together as a team. Chloe Fivash joins the yep. ball game. Using, uh, as you said, Drew's, Drew's high. Yep. Chloe's Drew comes speed. in as well. Down on the side and Drew's in. He needs to get his hands up. No, he's going back out. Uh, Todd at the top of the key. Out to PJ. And he's going for a second attempt. And... Again. Andrew Long trying to get that yeah. position in the key. And then they're forcing the long shot, which is not a bad one from, from PJ because he's good at the long shots, but it's a harder shot in general. Sam at the top. Good defense there from Rockets. Sean trying to go all the way. And good pressure, good defense from uh, Andrew Long. Stops that from being... Uh, an easy basket. PJ called for a travel. The second travel we've seen today. Yeah, first Quite one from Craig. That, second actually. one from... In, in especially in like a Div 2 and... Zach is stuck uh, here in the, in the ACC half. So Zach trying working to get his hard way out. to try he and get back. He's done it. Sam's now coming. He's got double teamed. He is getting teamed. So uh, Adams on the far side. Lana passes out to Adams. Oh. Charlie lets fly, and it comes off the front of the rim, but they manage to get another go. Todd Kwan can't quite get his hands on the ball there, I don't think. Aces ball on the end line with Chugumba. Lana trying to, to make her way into the key, and I've got to say, I think, um, does again. Andrew Long needed to stop her a little bit now there. Aces. It was a nice finish from Lana. I think they've had about double the shots that Rockets have had. Yeah. The conversion's not been, you know, far off, but they've had about double the shots. Now, Andrew Long over on the my side's got a mismatch, I would say, against Sean. But he doesn't need it when Zach's putting them away. My favourite player. That's why. Hand off to Adams. Sean's trying to crash, cash the key, sets the pick, but PJ recovers. Sam out wide again to Adams. This is better from Rockets. Solid D. And Liana gets round. Oh, and they've got they've got lucky oh, there, the Rockets, again. that there was uh, uh, no conversion. Aces again with a sh shot. And they've... Shot. They've given the basket. Doesn't count. I thought Bust the whistle went, count. but they've given yeah. the basket. Todd looking for outlets. He's getting a lot of pressure there from Sam. I think the Rockets could look for that top pick. Uh, it, it seems to be coming quite consistently to the top. Unlucky there from uh, from Todd Travers, number 48. And Sam is going all the way. You've got two options. Josh on the other side. Nice recovery from Zach. Another tumble from a Rockets player. In Aces, Aces sideline ball. And PJ's trying to cover the top, but he uh, he needs a shout from his teammate when he needs to cover when Lana gets yeah. round. And Lana got round Todd, I think it was in that occasion. Too easy. Yes this Aces team, team get back very quickly. By the time Todd has reached the halfway point, they're all behind him. Oh, no, a little bit of a miscommunication there between Zach and PJ, and the ball goes out. Two aces now for the inbound. Rockets defense couldn't quite set itself up there. Um. Sean with another pass off to the inside of the key. Number 19, absolutely formidable. Lana Brand. 
she is crashing that key all day. So yet again, you see the pressure at the top. Unlucky it's the long there. shots. They're having to take a lot more long shots because so they can't get into the key. So the route into the key for me is the pick, and I think with the pressure at the top, the picks should should be coming to the top for for a, for a while until yeah. they wake up to it. Oh, nice rebound there from Andrew. Andrew Long, unlucky. Ace is coming down the court now. Sean to bring up the ball. PJ struggling to get out of this two-man pick back. They're very good at that, aren't they, Aces, so far? And Chloe and Todd on the defense. Rockets have got back into a defensive position, but you can't defend a shot like that. Sean on it. Excellent shot there from Sean Chikumba. Number 48 in the last five seconds of the game, the, the, the play. And it's a lovely finger roll from they PJ. Make it just in time. Fantastic job from PJ in the last couple of seconds just to put another two points on the board. Brings an end to the first quarter. Currently 16 8. And he has been Aces. working his socks off, uh, PJ, there. I'm not saying the others haven't, but he has yeah. really made a difference to the game, I feel, so far for the Rockets. And uh, on the other side, it's, it's more of a, uh, an even flow in terms of. Yeah. They just seem very connected. Yeah, they seem very like they, they know where each other are constantly. And I know the Rockets have got that yeah. feel in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just need to sync up and see what happens in the uh, next quarter. I'm they thinking uh, Todd under pressure. Yeah. You see it there. Let's oh. let's get a couple of picks on top. I, I want to see that. Yeah, um, like I said, with the t they're having a f few okay. shots from... It from seems easier to see from, from here sometimes. Yeah, yeah. The thing when you're on court, always, you're like yeah. focused, aren't you? They're focusing on maybe a two-man two, two man game down at the sides. Yeah. And then, well, when they're getting in, maybe just a pause and receive up high because they're getting in enough. Yeah. And they've had a couple of mismatches, so just wait to be fed the ball up high. Yeah, we've seen Andrew get in there quite yeah. a few times and come back out Go straight away, out. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It, it, whether he's, he, he sees a, a different opportunity or, or they're just not getting the pass in, in quick enough. Yeah. Although I, he, I, he's, he's not putting his hands up straight away as he sort of goes in no, and, then, then, and then comes I guess, straight back out. I mean, if I'm playing on his team, I don't wait for his hands to be up. You're ready for him I, As soon to as get I see him there. going in the kitty, yeah. I'm sending that ball. And I expect him, a bit like Chris Nash, who's... Uh, who's here somewhere today, and shout out to you, Chris Nash, over there. <laughs> uh, he does the same thing. I'd send it, and when he's there, he turns, catch, finish. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's the sort of stuff you see Liam and and, uh, and his brother do uh, uh, really nicely on the Div 1 team. Um, Preemptive passing. Yeah, and I'm sure Coach Tom Elliott-Smith will be saying, saying those things to them, just saying, relax, play yeah. your game that we know you can play. He'll have his game plan. He, yeah. He's a very organised coach. 27 there, Sam, blocking the camera. Yep. Here's Sam. <laughs> Great view of Appleton's back. <laughs> <laughs> As he takes it to the top of the key. Back out to Sean. Sean likes this shot from here. He's happy to take that. And there he goes again, but it's an air ball this time. Collected up by Lana. That was a rare miss by Sean. Uh, but Lana, Lana takes the opportunity. Cleans it up. Here comes Todd. What can Connell do? Can so he get into the key? Can't. He's blocked out. What happened there, Chungus? I, I was looking he, over the right. He just and then there's a lost control of the ball. The ball on the side. Right, so here goes PJ with a bit of an advantage. And the foul is called on. Is it Adams, 20? I believe so, yeah. Yes. Yes, it is called on 20. Your Rockets end line Adams. ball. Right now, let's see. Now they get a chance of doing their inline in inbound play, and he's in. He's in. He needs that ball quick. He gets well it done. in. Well done to the brothers. Unlucky. Couldn't quite get the shot yeah, out. Yeah, well, oh. it was excellent stuff, to be honest. Yeah, he didn't finish it, but, but they're getting stuff. it in there. Yeah. So yeah. And Zach nicely uh, on the retrieve, stops it going, and I think PJ's going to take a bite of this. Looks like he's he is. He sets it. up. And oh no, yeah, he's seen the big hands of his brother. There we go. They're starting to play the big game. They're starting to play the game, aren't they? 
And oh, now wow. PJ will have a push on this against Adams. It's a difficult one. Puts it away though. Really difficult to, to defend, you know, how are you going to get any impact on that? Yeah. Um, especially when you're trailing behind Adams there. But nice finish from Adams. Yeah, well finish done, Connell. from Connell in, re in reply. End to end. And again. Oh, good, good defense Excellent there from Connell. Just distracting Alana. Right, now let's see what happens at the top, whether he gets pressured here and what effect it has. So he's passed off quickly. Is there an outlet for PJ? He goes straight back and rounds to Zach. Zach with a long two. They're playing a bit quicker now, aren't they, Rockets? They're, they're picking up the pace a little bit. I like the quick passes. Yeah. And uh, I love the interception. Yeah, <laughs> great interception. They're blocking each other off here, though. Passes out to PJ. Now, PJ will have a good mismatch against number 18. He tried to pass Can't it into Chloe. Can't quite get it into Chloe there. Good idea, though. Just didn't quite pay off. So, it seems like it's been, ever since from the beginning, um, double score for aces. Yeah. <laughs> Can the Rockets make a difference to that 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 uh, pattern? Because it's 20-10 at the moment. Sam down to Ilana. Ilana down to the baseline. Passes into Sean, but PJ, excellent recovery. That is a solid bit of defense from PJ there. Fantastic job. Man of the match for me so far, PJ O'Donovan. Good. Oh. And, oh, it's not quite. Could see what he was trying. That. I don't think Todd could see it though. Lana, under pressure from Todd. Sean coming for the pick. Well recovered from Todd, and Josh finds himself alone. And the man out didn't work that time. They didn't get an advantage, so the shot clock was counting down, and it's a pass to PJ's hands. Uh, shout out to Dan, who's just walked in. PJ finds Connell again. And again, he can't oh, quite. I'm really happy they're starting to find that uh, link up with the big in the queue. Yeah. Because I think that's been missing. They're doing what we said they needed to do, is get yeah. the ball in there. Um, I think they, the bigs are in and they're getting their hands, yeah. as you said, or they're getting available. So They just need to get that, um, that percentage up. Timeout called. Is that a Rockets timeout, I believe? I believe so, yeah. And it's been a, a bit some of a end curious end, game. Yeah, some end-to-end -end stuff. Our camera, man mm. uh, camera woman, sorry, Steph. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, her hands must be hurting here, moving this camera side to side. Score currently 20 to 10 in favour of the Aces. Yeah, we're um, how many minutes we got left in the second half? So six minutes on the dot left. Say in about this. yeah, close to halfway through the second uh, quarter, and uh, twenty ten is the score. How many in fouls in this game so far? In favour of aces, one foul. One yeah. foul. On that was Charlie well, Adams. Yeah, yeah, that was this quarter, wasn't it? Yeah. So clean in that respect, but also some bits uh, a yeah. little bit messy from. We've seen a lot of. Players going turnovers over, or, or interceptions, as in sloppy passes, maybe yeah. a couple. If you to be harsh, but the idea between the passes uh, was definitely solid. Sam here with the ball, decides not to block the camera this time. Passes into Chigumba. Chigumba on the near side here. Got the screen from Adams, and he takes it. Oh, he's unlucky not to make that. And Chloe, Chloe leads the storm with a fast offense. Um, looks to turn back to Zach, and it's been intercepted by Josh. Can't quite plop it into Zach's hands. 
Josh now at the other end Some finds himself alone for Josh. a layup, passes off to Lana, and it's a lovely finish. That's some really good teamwork there from the Aces. Some quick stuff there from Josh to get it down the other end. They wake up really quickly and transition the Aces. So here comes the pressure at the top. The pressure from Sam. Oh no, quite. Shot comes in from outside from Todd. Good and shot it is there, clean. Todd. Lovely bank shot. That's the first points on the board for Todd Travers, and we know he can put points on the board. It's a lovely job. And the foul was called, I believe, on uh, Craig, Craig Jewett. Coach Tom Elliott Smith is not happy here. He is the most cool, calm, and collected man I've ever met, but he is fuming with that call. And Craig gets subbed off for PJ. Um, score being 22 to 12. Switch again there from it's Alana. A bit of a bunching up on the side. The high pass the comes in to Alana. And so many shots from the inside of the key, from the hands of Lana. Todd puts one up, he oh, gets it. Oh, beautiful. Zach is stuck. Now that was a beautiful shot there from Todd. Uh, who's Zach? The hell they've got stuck that they have? <laughs> wow, this is some impressive stuff to get stuck in there. I mean, and that's the, the Formula One um, pit crew are out. They are in. Not, not, not quite the uh, record <laughs> one point eight, eight second pit stop set by the McLaren boys. <laughs> and girls, sorry. Sean, in his own key, under pressure, finds Adams. And the ball is getting held quite high. They're doing a good job, Rockets, here, of stopping them getting through. But but Josh, completely open, gets the layup. I mean, that's a risk of a press, yep. but it was good. It was good. And I believe that's the first points for Josh on the board. Twenty six fourteen with just under four minutes to go in the second quarter. Uh, the big hands of Connell were waiting, but the pass went the other side. It got intercepted by Sam. And Sam looks like he's taking it all the way, but he doesn't. He hands off to Lana and there's a is that an offensive? No, it's a no, two two two, two shots. for Alana to have. On Connell, I believe that was. Yeah, yeah I thought but he didn't get away with that. Number 21, Connell O'Donovan gets called for the foul. Puts away the first, Alana. Makes it look easy. Must have a record crowd in it today. Very busy on the sides there. 50,000 people here today. Yeah, you just can't see them because they're all behind us. And the second one goes slightly... <laughs> Too much on it onto the back of the rim, but Todd comes away. See if they can get a quick turnover. PJ find himself on the floor again. And the pass goes over to Zach. Zach Geary goes down to baseline. Eye on the on the hoop. Oh, it just rolls out and they'll stop play for uh, PJ to get I'm back I'm surprised up. they didn't stop that a bit earlier, the play there for PJ to they get They wait up. until the direction of play changes. Oh, is that, is that why? Yeah. So whilst the uh, direction of play is away from the person on the ground, they'll See. let it play, and then when it turns, they'll stop it. Unless, of course, the person is in the key, and uh, that is a different situation. Now, I believe that came off 19. But they've called the foul on... Um, on Chugumba, yeah. yeah. Uh, number 25. 
So I didn't quite see the. Uh, I saw PJ knock the ball there out of. I believe it was Alana's hands. We're into. Uh, the, th the last three minutes of this second quarter with the score 27 14 to the guests. PJ making his presence known there. Wow, Todd, Todd unbelievable. Todd really Lovely. calmly puts in a, a, a neat two points. We mentioned about the one foul, I think, with about four minutes to go after that timeout, and we've now got five. So, uh, a bit of commentator's curse there. Sam into Lana to Adams, who's sitting waiting to put that away. And he's, well, Rockets are lucky there that he didn't get the finish because they are really organised. I think they're doing a really good job. Come on, Rockets. Connell gets Let's into see. the key, find it. That's the way. Connell for two. He there we go. That's, his, that's good. Chloe is so quick. Can she get there? To she can. That's fantastic that defense. She is so defense. quick, isn't she? What can she do with the ball in, in attack now? And then Connell's over there again. Gives can it to Zach. Big hands? Oh, Zach is taking Good it. Good work. Brings the lead down to only seven with one minute and 47 seconds to go. Now this is exciting stuff. Seeing the Rockets on the charge. I believe cool the, the Aces may be a little bit rattled here. A few points in a row for the Rockets. This could get a bit tasty in this last one minute and 43 seconds. <laughs> did you see Two who got seconds on? on the shot clock there. That, <laughs> did you see who got called on the foul? I didn't see who got called on the foul then. No. Timeout called. What are we thinking? Minute 42. 43 even. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Uh, I think that a bit of press work is coming from the Rockets. Yeah. And I think it's it's, it's risky, obviously, because, yep. you know, sometimes they get through. But in, in general, I think it's working. Um, they're putting them under a bit of pressure and not letting them settle. From the scoreboard, you've got to say that the change in tactics from Coach Tom Elliott Smith's working, to be fair. I think they've looked quick. They've looked more impressive with their passing. They were had a bit, a couple of moments before where they weren't quite making the pass. Yeah. Uh, so the the as you, I think you pointed out, you know, the thought was there. Yes. It, it, and then the execution was just off. Yeah. And that can make the difference when you're against. All you the need top is team, that. Yeah. You know. All you need is that one shot to fall for you, and and you could say get back into it. And the Rockets look like they've they've got back into it a little bit here. Obviously, still still a seven point deficit, but we'll see what they can do. It's the Aces team come back onto the floor. So Aces sticking with the starting five that they, uh, they, they, they've been making good, good damage with. To be fair. Yeah. So two seconds left on this shot clock. They're going to have to chuck this one up sh pretty much straight away. Zach comes over. Okay, and Sam inbounds to Sean Chikumba, and he's going to let fly from the top. If I'm not. That must be two. And here it goes. No, it's the pass into Lana instead. And she makes the basket. Lovely bucket there. We've been watching that all morning. Oh, a little bit heavy from Connell, but he gets his own rebound. Got there in the end. Breaks it count. Leads still seven with that shot from Alana. Oh, lovely work from Sam to hustle around the edge. Brilliant job. He looks for Adams, who's not quite in the right position, but now he is. Oh, Adams that's collects too easy, with the isn't reverse. It? Oh, oh finesse. Man. That's nice. Lovely work there from Sam and Charlie linking up well. Oh, lucky from Todd. Comes back out to Connell. Finds his brother. There we are, in the key Go again, on, PJ. two points. 26 seconds to go in this and that's second quarter. PJ's first in this quarter, I believe. Sean on the overlap, it's three against two. Zach and Todd, 
doing a good job of defending on this side. The long pass over to Lana again. This time no Six good. seconds left, four, three, two. He's gonna have to put one up. He does. Well, I've got to say, Coach. fantastic from the Rockets there to bring that back. Coach um, Barker having a bit of a bit of a play there with Zach saying it was only a little bit far away, mate. <laughs> well, we're now on 31-24. Looks like we're going to go for a, a little break now. Some music, some DJing, some live singing, I, I believe. <laughs> <at half-time. laughs> stay late for the firework party. <laughs> Let's go. Time to grind. Get inside your mind. Yeah, we working overtime. That's the only way to climb. We gon' make it in our prime. Signing on the dotted line. Cashing checks left and right. That's the way I'm living life. Uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight. Chip away, I gotta fight. Ain't nobody else in sight. Man, I think I see the light. Yeah, that shit is so bright. Follow me, I got the guide. See you on the other side, son. Ain't nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do. I'm ready to go in the battle. I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle. I'm about to take off, never gonna stop the top yet. So get out my way, I'm here to stay. You can try it. I'm a vet, cause I work with every breath Man, I love the taste of sweat I won't have any regrets uh, They get upset when they trying just to rest And I'm still right at my desk Make them all feel so pressed Yeah, but that's the test If you wanna be the best It ain't easy, it's a mess If you wanna have success You keep going like possessed Drive it deep into your chest Every failure is a test Learn the most, leave the rest Nobody know what I've been through. Ain't nobody know what I can do. I'm ready to go in the battle. I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle. I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. No, I'm about to take off. Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top. Yeah. So get out my way.
ready for battles, you better get on the saddle. We got some demons to tackle, yeah. We about to put on a show. These haters don't even know. They're in too deep like a hole. And they about to find out what it means when you enter into my house. How it feels when you always seem to strike out. Cause I don't lose, no, I win. I go wall out. The air is filled up with suspense. We've got our dreams we must have found. Hello everybody, welcome back, we hope you enjoyed your half-time entertainment, better than the NBA, obviously we did it, about a minute to go, start of the third, currently Aces lead 31 to 24. Yeah, I was just Flexive. looking at the um, the sort of quarter by quarter points, and yep. um, so Aces had the first one by a fair margin, as, as you said, 20 to 10, but um, Rockets managed to win the second quarter if wow. in isolation, 14-11. Um, mm. So, so they definitely improved in that, that that second quarter. Let's see what they. Can. Yeah, see if they can bring on the charge, and um, and make this a a close one. You know, we've done it before, haven't we? Yeah, Maybe we've seen a couple of comebacks uh, that, that were quite strong. And um, I can't remember the exact yeah, as you say. But they've got it in them, for sure. Yeah, I mean, they, they've proven that. Key part of the game. That, getting that ball again. They did it brilliantly. In the if you second. Yeah, you look at the difference between what they did in the second quarter. They started to get the yeah. ball to the big hands um, of Connell. 
Uh, they 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 made those passes, but also I mean you've got the likes of Todd and and uh, and Zach yeah. coming alive on the outsides. Um, PJ's always on on that, but yeah. but let's let's um, let's see if if yes, Connell's staying on. Um, as you see, Drew has, has still got his t-shirt on. I'm surprised they've taken Chloe off. I thought she was quite quite good. Yeah, PJ there, yeah, you can tell it's him because there's a big 42 right well, in front of your we've had the, faces. Um, we had the change on the Aces side as well. Yeah, on comes George, George. I believe. Yeah. yeah. So Todd, under pressure at the top. Nobody picking for him. Nobody, Nobody wants to do that top pick. And PJ finds himself in trouble. He's under pressure. And it's been knocked off of Lana's chair. That's a rocket. Rockets ball. That is indeed a Rockets ball. There we go. Yeah, they've confirmed it. Cracking job from the referees. And they're looking for someone to put it in. <laughs> and here he comes. PJ to PJ inbound. volunteers his tribute. And they're looking at their options. Zach comes round from the top. He's in. Oh, Todd Zach, went for was, it though. Zach was a, a great drive from the top. Um, but now oh, they're, they're finding they, they're under pressure to get back. Todd working really hard. Oh, but the hand off to Sean with a finger roll and the one. And they Good open up. There. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a great pushback from, from Todd there. Yeah. Um, but you couldn't cover them both, you know. Uh, Ends up out of the way. Did indeed. And the Rockets will see that ball out. And the ball comes up very quickly to the top of the key with Todd. Todd under some pressure, but look, uh, now actually Craig's looking to set the pick for him. Didn't quite manage to pull that one off. Um, ball ends up with Mr. Geary. Back to Todd. Todd with a quick release. In and out. From Todd Travers, they've um, they've gone back to sort of shooting it from long as their first option again. Well, we know Todd's good from the top if he yeah, can get that shot off. Yeah, that's so true. So a little pass one two and he got got free. Um, Sam, number twenty seven for the Aces. Aces go up back up to an eleven point lead here that's with forty seconds gone. And I think it's... Uh, time has actually stopped on I've the... I've got to say, once again, the pressure at the top is really working for the Aces on that ball handler. Cool as a cucumber. Another layup. Chukumba putting pressure on the ball handler. And now we've got the top pick. PJ's in. And Todd finds himself free as well. Brilliant stuff. Oh, Can't he's quite just make it found his like, body twisted there yeah. and he couldn't quite get the, the clean release. Oh, and PJ working hard again there to get in the way of that ball. But they the arms came together and uh, I believe it's going to be uh, an aces ball. Wasn't quite sure which way I was going to call that because the contact was on both of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sam takes the ball, pops on across to Alana. Lovely in the key. high pass over from Sam Appleton. Alana uh, not managing to put that one away, and Rockets are trying to come away quickly, but they haven't got numbers. It's three against four. Now four against four. All of a sudden, the man out has worked and Zach is in for a very clean two points. Lovely Inside from the Zach. key. Lovely well work. done, in. Rockets. And number 20 there, yeah. out, of the, out of the lines. That is Charlie Adams there. Um, being called for going out of bounds. 
Charlie Adams got a famous famous name for those that know. Famous Scottish footballer, played for Reading. Charlie Adams. There we go. A little bit of extra knowledge there, trivia. Up the ding. And there's the top pick coming. Brilliant stuff from PJ. Leaves him open for the shot. Oh, unfortunately, uh, Todd didn't get that one tucked in. And Todd on the loose ball. And they got the turnover there. Todd. Travers on the inbound. Over to PJ. PJ O'Donovan. Renowned outside shooter. Sets himself. Little drive to the base. Hand off to Zach, maybe? No? Yeah. There goes it for goes. It. Oh. Not quite. Couldn't swing it round. Alana finds. And there's a bit of pressure Charlie. coming from the Rockets now. Bit of a press. Bit of a press coming on. Will this work or are they going to get picked out? Uh, they are. Sean, Sean doesn't quite roll. make it. And now the Rockets come a stomping. Zach looking hungry for, for some points. It gets rotated round quickly. PJ's now on the ball. He has the open shot for the cover from his brother. Oh, beautiful Lovely. job. Fantastic finish. Nine points the margin now. Yeah, so far this quarter, Ace is edging it at 6-4. So the Rockets just need to get another couple in. See if they can bite away, but not like that. Sam inside. And one. And one. Sean as well. Sorry, not Sean. Sam. And one. As the court goes quiet for the uh, extra shot from Sam. Appleton unlucky on that. Lana nearly with the rebound and Zach Geary comes away. Travers can see Chloe on the far side making a drive. Connell makes his way in. And he's passing to the big hands of Connell. Brilliant job, Rockets. Oh, and Sam just... Uh, Sean they got just the cover well. The hands Brilliant job from Rockets there. See the way they covered that. It's good defense. Good communication. Good teamwork. Managed to keep it alive. Oh, <laughs> lovely nice finish there. Number roll twenty. There. Eleven points. The gap. Foul there. Called on Connell. I believe it was called on. Twenty-one. Yeah, Connell. So that's four fouls from the Rockets this in quarter. Four minutes. They're in. They're in. A, they're they're going to have to watch that. They're in dangerous territory here, aren't they? And is it George making his way through there? That is George. Yep. So that's sort of a nice bit of work there, seeing from George Winsboro. Not familiar with the with much of his uh, play there. Uh, just haven't seen him. Reasonably, uh, reasonably tall in his chair. Yep. And he's trying to get a pick for, for Sam there. Finding his chair not quite the right position. But the ball is rotated round. And George was on the drive into the key. Long shot there. And he's all alone. Brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, he gets his own rebound, though, Zach, now. And they get a couple of bites of the cherry, and it's no go for Rockets. I think they really needed that one. Yeah, uh, they Chungus. did. 11 points to deficit. Oh, George almost managing to, uh, to make it. But Todd comes away, confidently bringing the ball over. Gets stopped by Chikumba. Over to O'Donovan. Chloe's O'Donovan well to open Zach. in there. Zach on the outside finds Chloe. And can she make it splash? 
Sam with a with Chloe a great was wide open Rebound there for there. BJ to pass to. Excellent from Todd. Good work. Back court. I think they needed that. That was good. Back to an 11 point game, as you said. Yeah. 41 30 in favour of Aces. Four minutes, 20 seconds, as a timeout is called by the Reading Rockets. Coach Tom Ellis Smith. Wonder looks what like they're going to be. Looks like Craig might be coming on. He's taking his taking his t shirt off. Flexing his muscles. Flexing his <laughs> huge guns. I say <laughs> he looks like he's been going to the gym recently. Um, as well as me, I've I've been going to the gym a lot recently. Have you? Um, yeah. I mean, they can't see me, You've but I'm, job there. I'm chiselled. <laughs> I'm my arms are 42 inches, <laughs> and uh, but they unfortunately for them they they can't see it, but they would be <laughs> gobsmacked by quite honestly. Well, his new name is Popeye. Yeah. Well, so no, both my arms are just as big as each other. Oh, I thought you just one. No, 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 but, but I'm huge. Both in terms of both <laughs> arms, my legs are you know I don't do leg day because you know I'm a I'm a bodybuilder so we don't, we don't really need them that much. But uh, well, that was a strange little timeout <laughs> we had there talking. About I just thought I'd let the people know you know that I'm chiselled about about Chunga's biceps. Yeah. Uh, let's see, is Craig the backspin Jura going to come on the court or is he going to stay off? Oh no! It looks like he is going to stay off. Um, no, I think he's just I at the ready. They're sticking with their set. Yeah. Our and camera lady needs to get ready here. She's she's at sat here laughing her, her head off at, at something. I don't know what she's laughing at, but um, yeah, she's. Zach, Zach, back to Travers. Travers under a little bit of pressure at top, passes out to PJ. And Zach making his way in. Oh, can't quite so make close. it there. So he'll get to go to the line for two. And let's see what the Rockets can do with this. Unfortunate. First one slightly oh, left. My favourite player, Zach Geary. Oh, and unfortunate there. Also, he gets the out. rebound though, does he? Tries no, to not keep quite. It in. Aces now with Sam. Come away with the ball. Yeah, Mr. Appleton. Over to Adams. Chikumbo makes his way through. He's absolutely free, but he was twisting. He'll get that uh, off of Chloe. What's her uh, shirt number 20? 29. 29, sorry, Chloe, 29. Yeah. Sean will go to the line. Two. So if that takes us to five fouls. It does, so from now on, any foul anywhere on the court, will they will go to the line, won't they? Yeah, that's right. It's not an ideal place to be in. No. Second Ooh. one, not and, uh, good. Zach sees that out um, to make it a Rockets inbound. So Sean unable to convert either his free throws. Oh, it's Chloe and, uh, takes Chloe a tumble. Finds they herself might on the, they might on the floor. They haven't stopped. Is she going to And Zach yeah, she in, to get in the up. key. He's under immense pressure. Manages to find his mate Connell, and the basket goes. We'll get an and one here. And that's on Mr. Chukumba. Yeah, number 25. Let's see what Connell do. What a tall man. Wow. Ooh. Very high. He gets the ball to the face, but he catches it still. Hands off to, to his brother. brother. Oh!
Good work from Connell there in defence. But yeah. Sam is all alone and he's not... Can't wow. quite get hold of it though. I was going to say he's not going to likely to miss that, but he, he couldn't even get the ball. Just didn't get the uh, the pass he wanted. Substitution now. Connell comes off for and Drew. Coach Long, <laughs> so he Very coaches long. a community club uh, uh, in his spare time in Maidenhead. Big shout out to Coach Long. Yep, Maidenhead Magic. Here he is. He's a very tall player and he's very capable in his chair. And as he's showing here, he's in. He's just waiting for it at the top of his hands, but he's not getting fed. And I Charge believe that was there on, on. Um, PJ. So. Yeah, I was going to say it's six fouls now. They should have gone to the line that, there. That should have been a free throw. Yeah, yeah they yeah. should have gone to the line there. The. Aces team. Referee's not quite keeping count there. Um, well, Sam with a with a brilliant drive. I think they might be pulling them up about the fouls. Yeah. Sure. I don't think they can go back on that now. But see what happened. I don't quite understand that one. I'm gonna have to ask after. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he said that must be a, a referee mistake, and he's just. Uh, I don't know. I've got to say they don't seem to find Aunt Drew uh, early enough when he yep. gets in. Sam there comes the, the hustle off. from Sam. You know, all day, Todd has been under pressure at the yeah. top. Yeah. Um, and he either needs outlets or picks. He Sean Chukumba. Todd on the loose ball. To Drew. Drew over to Gu Geary. There we go. That's how we do it, Andrew Long. Come on. Is he your favourite player, Mr. Long? No, no, don't actually know. Don't know him. <laughs> do not know. No. I'm, I'm certain you, you were quite good friends, but, you know. Never heard of him. I don't know you well enough, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> good defensive work from PJ. But Lana is open. For the layup, all that hard work. Still down by 11 Rockets with a minute and 12 left to go in this He's game. in again, you see? You hear that little whistle from him turn. He's at the top. Lovely Todd shot, is though, taking from Todd. it. Fantastic, Mr. Four, four and eight. <laughs> Oh, what an overlap from Sam. Look at him go. Bounce stop. Finish in the face of PJ. Oh, not quite. He didn't actually get, get that the, one, but he got the foul instead. Two, so yeah, yeah. Two, two shots. Uh, good work, six PJ. Six seconds left to go in this. It's Very hard to defend that without fouling. So, good work, PJ. Yeah. PJ. And that is the seventh foul this quarter. He makes the first. He makes the second. Still an 11 point game, 43 seconds on the clock. Zach to Travers. Travers getting under control. Pressure again and glasses full oh, on from Zach's they, face there. Over. Andrew Long, good, good defensive work. And Zach, excellent from the Rockets to get back in defensive positions there. Working really hard. Sean 
Tries the fadeaway, but is denied. Gets his hand in there, though. Thirteen seconds now. I think they'll let this run as long as they can before they pop a shot away. You see, the clock doesn't start until he touches the ball. Yep. So they all the way into the other side. Looks now like now Andrew's looking at the long shot. No. Todd's going to put one up here. Oh, it's unlucky. Andrew gets it. Oh. oh. Can't quite get the buzzer beater there. For. Mr. Andrew Long, 47-36 the score. Aces have, again, still an 11-point lead. No, Seems to be a constant 11-point lead. The it? only thing that concerns me about that is that if I counted right, seven fouls, seven yeah. from from the Rockets. Yeah, um, um, it's it's not good, is it? They Coach Tom Elliott Smith did say to them, calm down on the fouls. Um. It was at one point, I think in the second, qu second quarter, we'd had one foul the entire game, and now we're on quite a few, I think. In the in the last quarter alone, we had what five uh, five of the Rockets, and I think it's and three. Two, two, I think, from the Aces. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven in one quarter, and I believe in the, in the second quarter, we had a similar amount. I'm not sure I've seen that many fouls before, so <laughs> <laughs> there must be some people... Um, Racking up well, a few. If uh, PJ's on, let me see. Was it uh, in in for the game? We've got three, I believe, for PJ. Couple for Chloe. Couple for Connell. Yeah, I, I mean, w you'd rather it be spread out than all on one player, wouldn't you? You don't, you don't want one player getting Indeed. fouled out and and not having as many options. Indeed. <laughs> well, if. Uh, if you have one player fouled out, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult for for coaching. It. Uh, the Rockets have enough numbers. Yeah, they could afford a, depending on on what role that player. Yeah, uh, if it was a, uh, if it was Connell, we, you could have Drew come in, and exactly, I think we'd be, yeah. all, we'd be all right. I'm still intrigued about the foul where we think that they should have had a free throw, but th but it it didn't. Didn't turn out that way. I'm I'm true to ask the referee after the game why, or whether he just said, "Oh, well, I can't go back on it now, so we have to let the game play," or or, or what he said. Not sure, Chungus. Not really sure on that yeah. one. There's a good roar from the Rockets. Andrew Long comes back out. Right, he did after some that good, good good third in quarter a, in there. Quarter, yeah. And we're into the final quarter now. Let's see if he can get in and do that little <laughs> shout that he was doing. <laughs> and Sam blocks our camera once again. I think he's doing this on purpose as we see him smile. That's it. Good recovery there. Rockets and putting the pressure on and getting the possession. They'll be really happy with that. And up with the ball comes Zach for the Rockets. Number 50. Number 50 sets himself at the top. Andrew Long looks for the cover shot. Takes the cover shot. Oh, so close from making that. It was so close. And they are putting the pressure on. They are going full press mode, but Adams is through. Zach cleans up, covers that over. PJ's trying to cover Sean, but can't get in the good side. Chloe's tried to cover. Oh, they're under all sorts of pressure. And Sam gets fouled from PJ. Some uh, some shouting coming from the Aces bench. Can't quite uh, tell what they're saying, but... Uh, end line, yeah. They're just setting up their play. Like before, they'll cross at the top if they're doing the same as before. So, you're looking at uh, uh, Ilana and Charlie to crash the key with a little cross. Ready? Here they come. Zing, zing. And then try and get in the key. 
It worked in the first quarter. But I've got to say, the outside shot was looking good from Sam. Collected nicely from Chloe. Oh, almost a cracking pass there from Chloe. I believe what the Aces bench was saying there, Beef, was that PJ was on four fouls. Is, is that right? Can, can that's that's what that? my book says, yeah. Yeah? That's what my book says. But one more foul and he is, he's out yeah. the game with that nine minutes left on this. Yeah. Not not saying that uh, my my record is correct, uh, completely accurate, <laughs> but I've got four down for a PJ. Yep, lovely catch from Sam and George. George for two, unfortunate. Sam comes away with it. He'll put it away. And the ace is making no mistake of that. He's back in. That's the pass you want. There we go. And he gets his own rebound. And there is a foul to free throws. Excellent work from Andrew Long. Good work there. That's why he's in this game. Now that's what I'm talking about there. A bit more of that stuff. We're all good. This is the comeback, Chungus. The lead is current 13. 13. Oh, well off the there. back arm. Mr. Long. Oh, and again, both of them rimming out. Very unfortunate there from Andrew. He's really working, working and hard. And the ball comes straight for our camera. Oh, job. the camera goes flying onto the ground. And we are going live to the ball cam. Live to Steph. <laughs> There's PJ. Look at that. PJ on auto rotate. <laughs> <laughs> Inbound from O'Donovan to Geary. Geary out to Long. Long looking for the cover shot. Cover shot from Long. No, resets back to top. And now he drives in the key. He's in. No, not quite. Todd back to Geary. And Todd will again. Oh, PJ from the top. Everyone's having a go at it. Chloe resets. This must be the longest seeming offense there that the Rockets have had. Um, referee calls a foul there on Andrew Long for holding, I believe. I didn't quite see yeah. that personally. He's a but, dirty uh, player, isn't he? Uh, dirty yeah, player. Honestly. <laughs> no, I don't think it was uh, anything I, major, to be honest. No, I, I, I didn't see of, it personally. Bit of chair contact. Eight or oh, seven and a half minutes to go in this fourth quarter. So Josh, number 18, was trying to pick there. But Chloe and PJ doing a good job of not letting them through. Right in front of the table here, we have Todd and George battling for position. Todd keeping him out of the offense altogether. There they go, just past and the camera. Four He's still four, doing it. Camera almost gets knocked down again. And Sam with a shot. Sean comes away with the ball, but PJ managed to get a hand. Then it goes to Lana. And Lana with two points. Up to a 15-point lead now with six and a half. Right. Andrew Long tried to get into the key. He's in now. He's in he's now. He's going back out. He's going to have to come back out. Otherwise, it would be a three seconds. And now he's in. And he's murking his he's way back out. He's going to have to come back out again. Andrew he's Long in. He gets it this keeps time. going. Oh, oh, he's working really hard to get in that key. Uh, he just needs to compose himself once he's in there, I think. Get that... Yeah. Sam finds himself on his own. It's a layup. Up, up to 17 now, the lead. Drew looking at the shot. P. 
PJ, under three hands of pressure, manages to pull that Gets off. It. Come on, PJ. Now that was an impressive bit of bit of shooting from our man PJ. The long arms of O'Donovan. Oh, she oh, thought about she the thought about the little one. <laughs> and that's the eight, eight second. second violation. Substitution now. On comes Connell O'Donovan. And the O'Donovan brothers are oh, going to have a li little chance of a link up here in the last quarter. Five minutes to go. Geary up top. And Connell finds himself in the key. The ball perfectly passed to his hands. And he finishes. Instant impact. He's like a yoo glue. Impact adhesive. <laughs> there we go. Oh, another one from Geary. Manages to keep the ball in. And he's looking for an outlet. He's got the hands of Connell. Connell up top. Oh, Can't quite make it. Chikumba comes away with the ball. Sean Chikumba. Josh on the right, looking for a pick. Yep, Lana's made free, but Todd's covering it over. They're doing an excellent job of stopping them on, and one's got through. Oh dear, that was so good then for a second. Yeah. Sam, such a dangerous player. He's fantastic on, on the ball and very calm. Todd in. Todd for two. Oh, he comes off the back. Sam comes away with a loose ball. Sam to Sean. Sean to Sam. On the reverse. Rockets ball, it's going to be once um, once Chuguma is helped back up. Up on his wheels. And the ball comes in to Four Todd. Minutes left. Todd to Zach. Zach at the top of the key with PJ trailing round with the overlap. Skids to a stop, and he sets himself as the wide outlet. Craig now looking at, at pinging that ball to PJ, and then driving on the key himself. He's in. A bit Unfortunately, too hard. that was a little bit large on the pass. Interesting to see Craig free in the key. Yeah, that yeah. could have been the pass right there. Possibly, uh, possibly should have got that into into Craig. And Craig trying to cover the overlap. Brilliant pushing from Craig. No basket for Sean Chikumba. Zach Geary now. Zach pushing hard. Bringing the ball up. Craig goes down. Craig finds himself on the ground. And they'll stop that uh, while he writes himself. Substitution for... Aces, number 20, Charlie Adams, comes back in. Coach, uh, or Coach George Grant comes to rectify the situation. Uh, deficit 15 with three, three minutes to go. It's going to be a bit difficult if they are to get back into this game. It is, and it's a shame because I feel like they've played, played actually quite strong. Um, and their press is working, but then every now and again, you yeah. know, you, it's a dangerous game. One gets through. If it's someone like Sam or... or you know, Alana, any of the others, they yeah, finish it's, up. It's dangerous, isn't it? Uh, the, the easy layups. Oh, they're free to get all yeah, their Yeah, they should be stopping there. that, shouldn't they? Brilliant pass to Zach. Zach for two. Makes there it count. Are. And Lana waiting just over the line. Receives the ball. Looking for Adams on the overlap. PJ's there. Denied the open layup by PJ. Craig almost gets a ball in his head. 
concentrates on stopping the chair. And Lana comes away with the points on that. 15 now, the lead. My, my maths is correct. Um, oh, a little bit of a jostle Tried round the bait from reverse. Todd. I thought he was going to get the, the, uh, the hook in. And they'll pause the play for a second. Timeout called by Rockets. A minute and 42 to go in this Still game. Still 15. 15 point lead for the Ooh, well, I mean, aces. I don't think I've uh, seen many comebacks that that uh, quite that that amount of time with that yeah. amount of points. Uh, it, it would be a bit of an ask, but it's not impossible. It's I think it's reflective of the game. I think aces have have been the better team. But Especially I wouldn't in the first say quarter. yeah, I wouldn't say that Rockets have played badly. To me. Um, I I just think they rued a couple of missed opportunities that maybe they should have taken. I think they did a, a lot of damage in that first quarter. Yeah. And that has carried on, you know, and they were yeah. always playing catch up. And they haven't quite managed to get back yeah. since that. Like you say, if they if they keep the deficit a bit lower in the first quarter and these last three quarters they've been been pretty close to them, haven't they? But yeah. the deficit was uh, just I think too big to, to come back from. Um I think uh, from what I can remember just Get that getting into the key for for the first quarter just it wasn't there was it? I think no, if they started yeah. the first quarter like they started the second well, and I finished think the passes the weren't going into even if they were getting yeah in, you yeah know, so the yeah. bigs were sometimes getting in and then not getting yeah. the passes um, and I think they just they took a minute to get into the game um, but yeah the the second and third quarter were quite equal in fact Rockets won the second quarter yeah but this last quarter has been a bit more. Done a bit further damage yep. uh, for, for the Rockets. And not for lack of effort from the Rockets. They are trying hard and playing a good game. Craig Into finds the key himself Craig. in the key. Oh. Unfortunate there. I like to see that. I like him yep. driving in the key there, waiting for it. He works hard, doesn't he, Craig, to get into those spots? Absolutely. Appleton, cool as you like, at the top. Brand. Chikumba. Oh, a drive. Lovely drive and reverse there. Fantastic job. It's nice, isn't it? That, that was amazing uh, um, confidence there from Sean Chikumba. Take on that drive and reverse. A minute to go in this game. And uh, they've got a man advantage right now, the Rockets, if they can just capitalise on that, and they have. And they do capitalise. Uh, Todd puts uh, his name on the board for this quarter. On um, the team After to help Sean up. a couple of misses up. that he's, he's had in, in this. He's had some opportunities, but that's his first one he, he's managed to put away. Yep. Um, always in the action, Todd. He's getting... Right in the mix of the action. And they've now got Craig and PJ down here on the two-man defense. Oh, my word. Just a, a lovely shot from uh, um, Chikumba there, Sean. And uh, you can't really say much about that. You can jump him. But that shot was lovely. Adams, looking for Sean, intercepted by Todd, almost. Now PJ finds himself trying to get back. And, oh, that was on PJ. He's been fouled oh, out. Yeah, he's fouled out there, PJ. There you on go. comes Chloe. For the final 15 seconds. I thought I saw a four and a two on his fingers. But yeah, yeah, I was no. watching where the ball was. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't see the, uh, yeah. the the foul. So that's that is PJ O'Donovan out of this game. Um, 
13 seconds remain. I mean, yeah. <laughs> not not, not going to harm them too much. And I think they're just going to hold it now and let the game run out. And they do. Wow. Aces with a 61-44 to 44 victory over Reading Rockets. Points, yes. Well, uh, the the last quarter, unfortunately for Rockets, made it made it uh, more of a de deficit instead of yeah. comeback. Yeah. Um, but that's the way it goes in basketball. Happens. Uh, good battle. I uh, really enjoyed that. I and, did. Uh, I hope everyone at home enjoyed watching this. Obviously, so, top team uh, um, uh, aces as well. So all respect to them. Really good job. That was our last home game of of the year, wasn't it? It was indeed. So. We'll um, hope you enjoy the rest of the season and we'll sign off, Beef and Chungus. We will. See, See you soon. Pleasure working with you, Chungus. Pleasure working with you, Beef.